Hey everybody, got some more uh, Gears of War for you. We got the uh, Xbox One Gears of War 4 Limited Edition Elite Controller. It's got uh, all the contents inside the box, the wireless controller, the interchangeable directional pads, interchangeable thumbsticks, paddles, carrying case. Uh, it does come with AA batteries, but as you see in one of the other videos, I do have a charge and play kit that I'm going to be putting in this. Uh, and it does come with its own USB cable, which is pretty cool. It's actually a uh, a woven cable, and I'll uh, show you that to you once we get to it. Now, if you do notice, <clears throat> it does also say that it is Xbox One, but you can use it on a Windows 7, Windows 8.1, and Windows 10 PC, and that also includes the Windows 10 Anniversary Edition. Um, you just have to make sure that you get the Xbox Accessories app from the Microsoft Store. And that'll allow you to customize the buttons and update the controllers and and uh, make sure they're all up to date and everything. Uh, it does <clears throat> show kind of a front and back view of the controller. Uh, you can customize the buttons. Uh, pretty much set it for any game. If you have a certain game you play a lot, you can program, actually make a custom profile that you can switch between. There's a little switch in between. Um, it says fire faster but actually what what happens and I'll, I'll kind of show you what that is is there's a little switch that actually shortens the throw of the triggers so instead of having to do a complete pull like a you know complete pulling in of the the button it actually comes about halfway so it's a little bit faster on the contact so that's that's their fire faster and then uh, achieve greater control really this has kind of a a cool uh, texture to it which I'll get to as well. The box also includes, if you do get this one, it includes three gear packs for the uh, uh, Xbox Gears of War 4. Uh, it does also work on the Windows machines. So if you do have Gears of War, it's one of those cross-play compatible games, Gears of War 4. So technically once you get a copy of the Gears of War 4 on your Xbox One you also can go to the Microsoft Store and or the Xbox Store in the Windows 10 application and download the game. Now it is a pretty hefty download so I will warn you it's pretty much it's almost about 50 to, to 70 gigs depending on you know what all you have if you have the limited edition or the standard edition so you might want to watch out for that for storage space but it does allow you to save to a different location so you have like a second hard drive that uses a lot has a, a lot more storage than your system drive that would be ideal so but let's get into this this does kind of a it does open different than the standard controller boxes those usually have a, a flip lid this one just pulls right up so that is one difference uh, it does have the Gears of War Eagle logo on it and then uh, that's pretty pretty cool there for the coalition then it does have its own case it, it is a nice textured cloth not sure if you can kinda yeah there we go it actually has an embossed lancer on it which I thought was pretty slick it's got a <coughs> nice custom zipper matches the uh, the rest of the case little carry handle uh, it is pretty pretty good durable case I'll just open that up here move this off to the side now inside the case ooh, put that back you've got the controller uh, as you've seen from my unboxing video of the limited edition it looks it's got kind of the same look to the the standard gears 4 limited edition controller but it does have like the scratches through the middle instead of across the the buttons over here it does have that cool font on the buttons just like the other one the standard controller but it does have that nice heft to it of the elite um, the buttons actually look more metallic up here as well as uh, the trigger buttons, they'll look a little more metallic than the normal controller. As well as the paddles, 
that of course obviously the other controller doesn't have. This one also does have the the symbol but on the standard controller it's kind of faded where this is actually if you feel it, it, it feels like a metal inlay. So they went, took some pretty good time and, and some detail on this one. It does have the three and a half millimeter jack and the standard accessory port. Now <clears throat> your carrying case carries all the different um, like say extensions to the to the analog sticks as well as the change out for the directional pad. This directional pad if I can get it here actually has where it's up for grenade left and right for Lancer and Nasher and then down for the, the snub so you got your pistol secondary primary and and grenade so it's kind of kind of marked on the directional pad for you. Now you can with the Elite controller you can take off this one and if you look they've got kind of a cool little thing that says Grub Killer it was the uh, logo that was on I believe Carmine's armor if I remember right from uh, Gears of War 3 then you can take the directional pad out of here and put it in and they're all just magnetic so you can just take them right off put them right on they're a nice hefty metal metal directional pad on top of the the plastic surface there so these are going to be a little more durable than the normal controllers same with the analog sticks the analog sticks actually are metal if you can see in there and when they come off they're they got metal and then they're a metal kind of a collar and they're also magnetic and they're they're pretty pretty stiff so I mean it's not like you're gonna be playing and just a thumb stick pop off these are actually held on fairly well so uh, again we have the switch where you can switch between profile number one and profile number two of your program buttons uh, other than that it pretty much has the standard standard connection for USB for for charging it's got the normal opening for battery packs um, now Here's what I was talking about with the, the kind of the short throw sh switch. If you look, the buttons or triggers actually go all the way down to the bottom. If you flip that switch, now notice the difference. See this one goes in a little bit where this one still goes in all the way. So technically you could customize it, say if one is the aim button and you don't really care about being, you know, you know you're going to grip, whereas the other one's the fire button and you know you need to fire fast. You can certainly do that, or you can flip them both, and both of them will be be pretty sensitive. So, so that is something you can you can kind of play with as as you like. They can be flipped on the fly. You don't have to shut the controller off, turn them back on. These are just physical switches, so you can just flip them at any time. The uh, paddles down here, they're actually made for. Let's say when you're when you're playing you do have to kind of get used to them being there so say if you do normally you know grip your controller when you play you have to watch it because you'll trigger those buttons they're pretty pretty sensitive like you can hear it hear it click in there but they also say if you don't want to use the panel buttons which honestly if you bought an elite controller more than likely that's the main reason you bought that controller is because it's got you know the added buttons it's got the short throw it's got the metallic sticks and everything but if you don't want to use them or say even if you get custom ones because they do sell kits that you can swap these out so you can kind of customize your controller but all it is is a matter of you just lift it up and just roll it out and then when you get ready to put it back in they are magnetic so then you just put it back in the slot just let it fall right back into place again just roll it out like little to no effort at all super simple just like so I I do love the design and everything it does really go well with the the collector's edition uh, console that that I have the Xbox one s console 
Um, I think I'm going to go with the, the other directional pad. I'm used to this type of directional pad, but I really want to give the other one a try. They say it's a little, little easier to use, a little easier to switch through things. They call it uh, easier combos because, like, say, in some games, you know, where you have to push down and roll forward, this kind of gives you that extra extra little leverage you need in the corner instead of pushing down and hoping you hit that that direction. Uh, again, the the analog sticks they do they they do swap out. You can use one that's got like say kind of a a rounded top. They're all rubberized, so they do have nice traction on them. The others have the indentation for the the kind of the little grip ledge that's there, and then they are textured on the outside. So the, I I feel that those are a little a little easier to use. But if you do like the the kind of smooth rounded rounded stick, you could certainly use that. Now this one does stand out a little bit taller than the than the standard ones that come that come on it. If you look here, you can see where they're. Where this one's a little shorter and then this one's taller. That is the other set of sticks that come in. You can actually pull that out and put on a longer, a longer one with the with the divot in the top. So you know you can use that that longer stick if you want to. I personally don't know if I'm gonna like the the longer extension on there. I'll probably give it a try sometime just to see how it how that plays but honestly I think I'm gonna stick with the standard the standard controls for now until I get used to the buttons and then I think when I get used to the using those paddles on the bottom and you know getting everything set up to the way I want then I'm probably gonna switch up with the sticks to try and play with that I think that'll be easier for me because the sticks will be easy to get used to at a taller height but the the paddles and everything I think is going to be the more difficult part. So uh, Inside the carrying case it does have a place to hold the the actual paddles so if you do decide to you know that you just want to take them out or or if you got some place to where you have different custom have one set on the controller or you can just take them out and if you don't want to use them just put them right in the the case and they're set and, and in there and ready for you when you get ready to use them the next time. So, And like I said, they're just, just a matter of snapping them right back in. Now the other thing is, and, and I found this out, this was pretty cool. If you don't like the fact that there's a small one and a big one, they are technically all keyed the same. So really you could, you know, switch this one up to here if you wanted to. You could say even switch this one over to here if you wanted to which is kind of a weird weird layout but hey if it works for you you know you can certainly do that they're all just they're keyed that way so you can pretty much make the controller your own design so really whatever you're comfortable with just put it in that that configuration and really that should get you get you up and gaming um, inside the box to kind of finish this off it does have more of that that kind of red and red, black, and crimson effect. And then inside, under here, this is the this is that USB cable I was talking about, the braided USB cable. And I thought this was really cool. Whoop! And the batteries. But the braided cable is actually that kind of crimson and black as well so that's pretty pretty cool I'm kind of glad they they did uh, kind of accompany this with the controller so you do have a really cool theme because you have a cool themed console a cool themed uh, controller and I'd hate to have a bland you know just straight black cable or say I'd hate to have you know some kind of colored cable that just completely clashed with all this so so really that is a good mix. The problem I have is the fact of they included batteries. It's not a rechargeable controller and I would think for the price of it they could at least throw in a 
charge and play kit because you have half the charge and play kit right here which is the USB cable so honestly for another you know for as much as you pay for these because this one alone I will say is you know anywhere from about 150 to 200 dollars depending on where you get it and that's US and then I would think you know with a standard controller you're paying about 60 bucks so I can understand putting batteries in with a standard controller but with something like this where I paid to get you know the, the extra metal buttons the extra metal sticks the customizability basically this is like I would say you know the Porsche of of the controllers compared to the the Pinto of the standard Xbox controller and yeah you know that's that's kind of kind of average I would say the normal controller is about you know like your average car like say you know something normal but this is more like a sports car I would expect to it have come with something with a little better engine you know I think that's my only complaint about this is the fact of with the money that you push out for it it should have come with a charge and play kit or even a built-in battery I like the fact that you can take them out I do love that about the Xbox controllers is so <clears throat> if I do start burning out my charge and play kit or if my charge and play kit starts going bad I can just swap out the battery pack I don't have to buy a whole new controller I don't have to buy a whole new you know kit anything like that I just have to swap out that battery now I will say about I'm not gonna bash them but the PlayStation 4 controller is all built in and that's the only thing I don't like about the PlayStation 4 controller but as compared to you know the the quality of of materials that went into this and everything you would think they'd at least include some type of rechargeable battery even if all they did was just include rechargeable batteries you know that would have been fine but these are just standard you know Duracell two pack that they throw in with the the standard controllers so I think that I'm gonna stop ranting now <laughs> but yeah that that I think is my only complaint about this controller really uh, feels comfortable it is a little heavier so if you're used to that lighter controller that is something to get used to is it does have that that heft I mean it but if you're looking for a heavier controller because I know all the reviews out there and everything they're like hey this is a great controller it works great no one ever states the fact that this is a little heavier but it's because of those metal sticks which really if you start looking at like your standard Xbox one controller you might want to look in on the little the little ridges or the posts that go up to the, the actual stick top we've actually seen with the constant play that we have and moving it back and forth and back and forth it cuts into that and there's actually a notch there on some of our controllers and it will stick like you put the stick forward and it will actually catch on that little lip and stay there so I always wondered if this did have metal but I'm really glad it does have metal because I don't have that fear of of cutting that notch in after hours and hours of gameplay so that's something you want to kinda kind of work on too is is you know keeping an eye on those because honestly I thought a controller was going bad and and maybe there was something horrible inside but actually it was just that that little notch that was cutting in and as soon as I uh, as soon as I filled that in worked great I mean I went back to being just a usable controller so that is something something you might want to look out for for the standard controllers now this does have a little little cover here uh, it does include the download of the three gear packs the quick setup guide and all your warranty information but other than that that's that's all there is to the kit um, once again I really like the boxing they did I really like the time and effort they put into this controller it's got a lot of neat features it's got a lot of say stable items and also it is like super cool I love the, the gears detail I love the scratches those physical scratches again and I am glad that you know they make it different from the normal controller like the normal controller has the scratches over here this one has them over here so it's not like they just pumped out a bunch of cases and put different guts in them these actually are something different so 
All right. Well, if you do like the video, please like, uh, possibly subscribe. I'd appreciate every every comment and feedback. So uh, once again, thank you for watching, and we'll bring you some more information later, guys.